So in this problem, we're given this kind of weird looking geometric figure. And we're told that we want to figure out the area, the total area in square feet of the figure. And all we're told is this x equals 28 feet in length. That's this distance right here. And um, well, we, we are told a little more, we're told this central part is a square, that means all of its sides are equal, that's useful. And we're also told that these outer portions are semicircles. Now, if you remember what a semicircle is, that just means half of a circle. So we know this x equals 28, that's the diameter of one of these circles. When you are asked to figure out the area then of the total figure, try to look at it in terms of this. You have half a circle here, you have half a circle here. Okay, that makes one total circle. You have a half a circle here and a half a circle here. That makes another total circle. So we have two circles and one square in the middle. We have to figure out their area. Um, it would help if you knew what the area equation was of a circle. Remember, that's pi times r squared. Do not mistake r, the radius, with the diameter. They're, they're different things. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to say pi diameter divided by 2 squared, right? If the diameter is 28, your radius is 14. So you need to be careful about that one. And remember that we have two circles that we're calculating here plus a square. So um, total area, this is just uh, area of a circle. Circle area is pi r squared. Total area is going to equal uh, 28 squared plus 2 times pi r squared. Now r is 14. So 2 times pi times 14 squared is the area of two circles. And if you calculate what that is, you'll get some number. Um, and well, let's, let's just go through an example right now. 28 squared is 784. And 14 squared is 196 times 2 means this other one is 392 pi. Now you may not see this in the options given, uh, but remember one of these numbers may be equivalent to it. And 392 is really just one half of 784, right? 784 divided by 2, yeah, that's, that's 392. So you can factor out a 784 and what you get is 1 plus 1 half pi. Okay, and you can see that answer right here. Now, um, another version of this question asks you about perimeters instead of, um, instead of area. Okay, so let's just talk about what perimeter is of a circle. Uh, area of a circle is pi r squared. Perimeter is something different. Perimeter is... 2 times pi times r, or in other words, two uh, pi times the diameter. That's the perimeter. So if you have a perimeter version of this question, what we're looking for then is, um, uh, let's use some big ink to figure this out. What we're looking for is this distance over here, around there, around here, around here, and then around there. So the perimeter of two circles, and you would figure it out using this equation right here.